Classic added this cool tool this this summer with the update and everything with playlists. And I'm a huge fan of playlists because I love to do blended learning um, activities in my classroom. And so when I saw this, I immediately like was chopping at the bit to get to it this summer. Um, it took me a minute to get used to it, but I figured out a simplistic way just to begin the basics of navigating it. Um, so I hope you will get and learn something out of it. Um, so uh, I always start with the why, the what, and the how. Um, why should you add it to your instructional toolkit? What are the playlists on Edge Elastic? And how I'm going to take a little bit of time to show you just a simple way just to create them for your students. So first, starting with the why. Oh, went too far. The why. Playlists are an excellent component if you're doing blended learning. Um, I know with the whole virtual learning, it's great for asynchronous and synchronous learning. I've done a lot of more of a workshop style model within my classroom. So I've been playing around playlists with my students and it's nice for them to get those at bats um, to practice. Like our, my students are fifth grade. This is probably their second or third time taking assessments on a computer. So this is a very good opportunity for them to get those at bats that provide perfect practice. Um, and then it gives you not only you, but your students real time data prior to the assessment so you can adjust course. Um, so that's a, those are three reasons why playlists are uh, effective. I pulled this directly from the uh, attachment to how to create playlists for Edge Elastic. I was trying to find out a way to explain it. It really is just that. Like if you use the playlist or a choice board, something to that effect, and you've created one from scratch, it is very similar to that. The only difference is Edge Elastic has a cool system and things that you can put towards it that makes it, that takes a traditional playlist and it expounds apart about it. Um, and I, I've seen some interesting ones within the library where people have literally put the whole English unit and they'll have all the worksheets or assignments, then they'll have the quiz. So like it's an ongoing thing that the students use directly within Edge Elastic. Um, so that leads me to the how to use playlists. Like I said, the, best, the biggest two reasons is asynchronous pass prior to the exam assessment and then practice. Like those are the two ways I've been using it right now um, as class time and homework. Like my kids have been working on some this week. Um, and that's, that's essentially how I've been using them. And so I start off by, I do game boards because of this, the virtual thing, we taught virtual for a while. I create um, game boards and uh, choice boards for my kids. And so they go throughout the game board. So Edge Elastic is one of my spots on the game board. So my kids go there. And then next, it takes them to our Google Classroom where I spell out what you have to do for the, uh, the playlist. I just like to spell everything out and I link it directly to the, so they can click on the link and they get to the app. This year, our district purchased um, a copy of Edge Elastic, so I don't have to um, go rogue this year doing it. So when my kids log in, this is what they see on their portal. That's another cool feature that Edge Elastic added where you can actually get a student view, which is fairly dope because before I had to stand behind kids to see what they were seeing um, from the teacher view. And so this, these are the three paths that I put in. And just, just like Tracy said, and Allison said, I've been using Snap Quiz and just different quizzes I've created within Edge Elastic to add to the playlist feature. So essentially, like I'm going very quick, um, the, the biggest thing is like how to build it. Like I, it took me three months to figure this out and I really just nailed it down. This is really three simple steps, um, it's trial and error. The first thing is just build your assessment before you add the playlist. That's huge. I didn't know that and I butchered a bunch of stuff several times, but if you wanna use a pre-done um, pre assessment or you wanna add a pre-quiz uh, uh, questions that's already added within as Elastic, Get those, select it first, clone it, modify it to how you want it, or build yours first. Don't assign it, just publish it. That's all you need to do is just publish it. That's it. Once you have those things set up, then next you're going to create your module. You're going to go to playlist. I'm going to show you a, a short video of what I did with my playlist. You're going to go to that module and then begin to create your module and, oops, all right, and add your assessments to it. The last thing is once you're done, you and assign your pl your playlist or just your modules. You don't have to assign the whole playlist. You can literally assign modules at a time. So that's what I'm working with right now because I'm building as I go. So instead of me talking through it, I just created a little short video. It's about two minutes and 30 seconds of me showing you how I've added things to the playlist or how I created my playlist.
you will have access to the video. I've linked it. It's uh, right now. It's a YouTube video, so you will have access if you didn't see it clear. Um, so I just want to give you some quick tips to that. Um, the best thing about this playlist, and like I said, I can't say enough about this feature. It is extremely dope. It be creative. Think it literally took me months to think outside the box. I if I I'll probably I can show you real quick. I created questions by inserting little questions, videos and questions, and then adding questions down. I've used the Snap Chris feature to do the worksheet function. It saved me uh, hours. I said tons and hours of creating fillable PDFs. I really had to just think outside the box and not keeping it scripted. Start small. That's the biggest thing. I, like I said, it took me months to figure this out. Start small. Rome wasn't built in a day. All, you know, all create your assessments before. Again, I cannot stress that enough. Create the things you want to add to your playlist before. Um, and I love the fact that you can add as you go. Um, I The stuff that I just showed you is me just adding the next set of modules for my kids to take. And the great thing about the playlist is that it gives you instant data. It's called Insight, where you can see where your kids are struggling. And it's like in a, a coordinate grid type plane where it has the four coordinates, where your high activity is, your low activity. Right now, when I show you my screen, it's only showing my kids where how many hours we spent and it's giving percentages. But once they take their first quiz, because right now they have their tasks and then I'm about to sign their quiz for the next week, then I'll begin to see some things. Um, I gave you an example of um, my fraction game board. If you like game boards, it's a, I gave you a, a, an example of what that is, as well as the Edulastic uh, resource page that showed that tells you step-by-step. Step. It's a little bit more in-depth on how to set up the Edulastic um, than the video. And then if you're really, intri really intrigued about creating game boards, I also, created, I also gave you a link to a, a woman who talked about creating um, game boards. The biggest thing is make it fun for your students. And this is a great addition. I will highly recommend you use it. And so the biggest thing I said, this is my, this is my live um, game uh, choice board, not choice board, I'm sorry, playlist right now. And as you can see, all we can see right now is the hours on my kids spent. But if I went to um, real quick, just my playlist and I'm, I'm editing it, which you saw me today, it's like I've been creating things where this is the snap quiz that Tracy has showed. Um, but then within my quiz alone, I've been using like a creative way just so my kids can check their answers. There's a video they have to watch and then there's several questions and they go to the next thing. And it's been very helpful for my students where this is why I added a notes page where I gave my kids some notes. I've created these like these questions, created, took some time to create these little drag and drop features for them. So it's different, just different things you can do within Edge Elastic that enhances it and the playlist to me really get you in tune with playing around with this and then making it like really edge elastic really pop. I've loved edge elastic. I've been using it for four years now, but this feature to me has really made this, this platform explode for me. So that's it.